What's going on? This is Dylan with Dylan Talks Tone. Today we're going to do like a buyer's guide for Squire Telecasters. Do you know there are like 12 or 13 different Squires? Just Squire Telecasters. And we're going to get to the bottom of what the differences are, which ones you should buy, which ones you shouldn't buy, which ones are easy to mod, which ones aren't easy to mod, and which one is the best value for you. Okay, before we get started on this whole deal, do me a favor and go to the video. We'll put a link to it right up here. We, um, when we hit 30,000 subscribers, probably in just a few weeks, we're gonna give away a guitar. But I'm letting you choose which one it is. So you go watch that video. There's a survey built into it and you can comment in the comments and you can help me decide you're gonna decide, ultimately, which guitar I'm gonna buy. There are four choices, um, and then we're gonna mod it all up, do some videos about it, and we're gonna give it to one of you. Uh, so go check that out. But for today, let's get into these Squire Tellys. First of all, we're gonna start with the Bullet. The Bullet is 169 bucks, super, super cheap guitar. It's the least expensive of all of them. Now, I wanna get something right out of the way here. There are no cheap garbage Squires. These guitars are actually pretty good and they reflect their price points very accurately and I think they're very good value guitars. So for 169 bucks, you get a Poplar body. That's a great body for a Telecaster. We've built a lot of Poplar bodies actually. It's got the kind of contemporary hardtail style bridge, string through body. It's got the like cheapest Squire ceramic magnet pickups uh, pretty much that you can get because it is the cheapest Squire Telecaster that you can get. This guitar has, it has a 1.650 nut width, it has a C-shaped neck, and it has the narrow tall frets that pretty much every other Telecaster that you buy in this series has. So it's actually a pretty good, pretty good guitar for not a lot of money. It has a plastic nut, uh, you know, it's got some budget things here. Right next to that is going to be your Affinity. So your Affinity is actually going to have, for $199 at the time of this video, there's links to all this in the description for the latest pricing, so check down there for pricing. Don't say what, don't go by what I'm saying for the latest pricing. Um, it's an alder body. Everybody wants to say that it's not, but it actually, it's an alder body. Now this one's very interesting. The Affinity actually has a 40 millimeter instead of a 42 millimeter nut width. It has a synthetic bone nut. It has the C-shaped neck. It's basically exactly the same thing as the bullet, except that it's got a little bit narrower neck. It's six and one half a dozen the other. What I would tell you on this one is, both of these guitars are a little bit more difficult to modify because they have a little bit cheaper bridge. They've got more screw holes and the screw spacing of the holes and how it attaches is a little bit weird. And also um, the tuners are, are kind of weird and they're harder to find replacement tuners for. If you have if you're a beginner and you're buying for somebody in your family or for yourself and you're not sure how much you want to invest into this whole guitar thing yet, then either the Bullet or the Infinity Squire Telecaster are a great choice for you. The difference being, get the Bullet if you have bigger hands and get the Affinity if you have smaller hands. That's pretty much the long and the short of both of those guitars. Let's move on to the other ones. Now the classic vibe. 50s Tele is going to have a pine body because in the early years of Telecasters they had pine bodies. So it's not because it's a cheap piece of junk, it's because that's the way they did it in the 50s and they're trying to stay as legit as they can for not a lot of money. So C-shaped neck. Most of all these guitars are going to have C-shaped necks. So C-shaped neck, uh, maple fretboard usually on this one nine and a half inch radius most of these guitars are also going to have I meant didn't mention it in the other two but pretty much all of these guitars until you get into like some of the really modern stuff are all going to have nine and a half inch radius fretboards I think that's a great middle of the road for somebody who is either just learning or just wants a 
really comfortable guitar that they can just pick up and just play and not have to worry about fret buzz and that sort of stuff uh, like you would on some more vintage style guitars. But it's not so flat that it's like uncomfortable to play either. Narrow tall frets, 1.650 or 42 millimeter inch nut. Um, 1.650 inch or 42 millimeter nut and it's just a good guitar now the cool part about once we get into this vintage stuff um, the what do they call this thing the uh, classic vibe is now you're getting into uh, proper fender style tuners so you can replace them um, they, they make a lot of replacement tuners that work really well they drop right in you don't have to worry about drilling any holes or anything the bridge is a vintage style bridge that you can drop in um, we make control plates with like uh, new switch and pots and cap and all that kind of stuff drops right in you don't have to worry about it you can buy any kind of pickups you know we make our flat six pickups that work awesome in this guitar they just drop right in you don't have to do anything literally just solder it all up put it all in no modding any of that kind of stuff and it'll go right in super simple guitar works awesome urethane finish um, they're all gonna have urethane finishes uh, but it's a good base to build off of um, it might take a little bit of setup work and stuff like that but it's a good guitar. Now your classic 60s is gonna be a double bound body. I personally think that for the 400 bucks or whatever this thing is worth, it's a great value because it's a double bound body. They look beautiful. It's a NATO body um, and it's gonna have your C-shaped neck, same neck uh, as the previous guitars we just talked about, same frets, the narrow tall frets, um, the same nut, uh, 1.650. Uh, once you get into the classic series, so the classic 60s, classic 50s, all that stuff, you're going to actually have a bone nut. It's not going to be plastic. A lot of people assume that the, every Squire guitar, you just have to replace all that stuff. But actually, you have a bone nut on a $399 guitar. It's pretty cool. Ultimately, again, same adjustability, same uh, modifiability of the the rest of the guitars that we're talking about so regular tele pickups will drop right in um you know the the electronics like for instance that we sell will just drop right in tuners the vintage style tuners will just drop right in you get clues in double lines or fender double lines or whatever you want they'll just drop right in super easy to modify this guitar super great value and if it's set up properly and they play really really well they have really nice necks and they're awesome so your 50s and your 60s the difference on the 60s double bound you're going to have a slim tapered neck it's going to just be a little thinner um, personally it's my favorite neck actually this guitar has actually got my favorite neck now we go to the classic vibe thin lines and these things are obviously a thin line body it's the nato same uh material as the the double bound and same thing you're going to have a modifiable replaceable tuners replaceable pickups all this kind of stuff of course it's in a pick guard so it's a little bit different you just have to call me and say hey it's got a pick guard and the knobs are in a pick guard and we can make it properly but it's still got the same nut still got the same neck uh profile it's still got uh everything's basically the same bone nut so your 50s your 60s uh all of all of those guitars are going to be pretty much the same. All these classic vibe style guitars are going to be pretty much the same, pretty much the same neck um, with that 650 nut, narrow tall frets. Boom. Pretty, pretty killer. Now we get into the classic vibe 70s thin line, and now we get a little different flavor. Now it's obviously going to have... Uh, a little bit different it's a little bit different guitar actually so you're looking at a maple body believe it or not uh, which is really interesting you're gonna have pretty much the same you're gonna have pretty much the same neck so that c-shaped neck 650 42 millimeter nut narrow tall frets all the same stuff as the guitars we were just talking about but now we get into the fake wide range humbucker and so this is a little bit different. We're gonna do a video, hopefully in the next week or two, on the difference between the real uh, CUNY magnet, old style wide range humbuckers versus these reissue and classic vibe ones. They're different. Um, they're not as good 
and but we have like a workaround for this so we have on our website um, where you can send in the pickups and we take them all apart we re rewind them we replace the magnets we do a bunch of work to them we put them all back together and we send it back to you and now this thing sounds unbelievable these are a little bit muddy uh, they don't have very good high end in them they don't sound as good obviously as the ones from the 70s so it's worth kind of doing that but this is a really cool guitar and it's worth doing the work so now we talk about your classic vibe tele custom from the 70s poplar body again great great body wood um, this one is going to be the fake wide range humbucker in the neck and then it's going to have a tele bridge pickup here again you'll be able to replace tuners you'll be able to drop in new parts really easy no messing around and it's a really easily upgradable guitar it's really really this is a cool guitar i really really like these two we actually just did one of these in a video not too long ago um, bone nut same 650 nut 42 millimeters uh nine and a half inch radius same frets same taper this neck pretty much goes through all of these guitars um almost all of these guitars have the same neck so now we got your classic vibe 70s deluxe which is almost exactly the same guitar we just talked about only it's got two fake wide range humbuckers in it and it's got the big 70s peg head but pretty much it's the same guitar same neck radius same fretboard radius or same fretboard radius same neck profile same frets the whole deal and it's actually a poplar body like the other guitar as well so these last three guitars are a little bit different up until this point we've pretty much talked about almost exactly the same neck on every guitar except for two that being the affinity has got a little bit narrower neck classic vibe 60s double bound has a slim taper but all the other guitars that we've talked about up until this point all have the same neck spec this contemporary double humbucker this guitar has a 12 inch radius fretboard so it's flatter a little bit more modern feeling i really like this fretboard radius i've used it on a lot of our guitar builds and we have a lot of customers that really that request it because it, it just is really comfortable 1.650 uh, or 42 millimeter nut width again um, it's got a synthetic bone nut so it's, they're trying to do like a like a corian or like a tusk sort of style nut which i have no problem with we actually don't use bone nuts for here but um, c-shaped neck 22 frets you know modern style feel uh, now the downside to this guitar is I don't like the way these humbuckers sound uh, they're like a cheap ceramic humbucker they're really really hot they're kind of muddy they're just eh. Um, we did a build where we put a Bigsby on one of these and we did a bunch of work to it and I just I just wasn't into the pickups at all I took them out I think we put DAFs our Dylan pickups DAFs in this guitar um, if you want to do a lot of coil splitting and a lot of other fun stuff you could put a center punch in the neck and an eight ball in the bridge and that would be unbelievable setup with this guitar really really cool guitar uh, I will tell you that even though this guitar needs new pickups and it needs some stuff and it's got a little bit different tuners too so it's a contemporary guitar so it's got the old the newer 10 millimeter die cast tuners so it's a newer style tuner um, easily replaceable but if you do the work to this guitar, it is so good. It's an absolute beast of a guitar, super fun. Because it's got humbuckers in it, you can like really decide, do I wanna go full shred with this thing? Do I wanna go like vintage style, like really low output? Like what do I wanna do? It's like a blank canvas of a guitar and I really, really like it for that reason. And that's a super fun guitar to build and it is not an expensive guitar. I think at the time of this video, 349 bucks like I said check the link below for the you know the latest pricing but just really a cool guitar uh, so the last two are endorsement squires so we've got the Jim Root Telly um, if you know who Jim Root is if you're a fan obviously you're already gonna know what this is but it's got a 12 inch radius fretboard it's got medium jumbo frets it's got a 42 millimeter 1.650 inch uh, nut width um, it's got the modern C so that's a little thinner um, radius to the to the neck uh, back radius it's a little bit different now this thing's got a three blade position switch um you know neck bridge middle and then it's got uh master volume with no tone so it's a little bit different of an animal the pickups are not that good uh they're supposed to look like active pickups but they're just they're okay they're just not that great but um this is, again is another guitar 
It would be harder to modify because it only has one knob. So you'd have to like drill holes to add a, to a tone and you'd have to do some other things wiring wise, to swap it around. However, it could be fun because there's only one hole. It, it could be like a blank slate too. It could be a really fun guitar. All right, so the last one is the John 5 Squire signature. Um, if you know who John 5 is, uh, then you already probably know what this guitar is all about. 12 inch radius fretboard. Uh, 1.650 42 millimeter uh, nut it's got jumbo medium jumbo frets i think yeah and a modern c kind of thinner faster kind of neck john five's like my favorite living guitar player right now so uh, i've seen this guitar quite a bit i think i want to buy one of these actually there you go there's a rundown the, the last two we didn't spend a whole lot of time on because it's one of those if you know you know sort of things when you get into endorsement stuff the long and the short of all of this is all of the Squire regular tellies, so 50s, 60s, Thin Line, Deluxe, Custom, all basically have exactly the same neck with that 1.650 nut, 42 millimeter nut width. They basically all have that same C-shape profile except for the double bound guitar that's got a slim, which is still a great neck for different reasons. It feels really good. And then the two cheapest guitars, I would say, are for students and for a gift and at the very beginning of your guitar journey to decide whether you even want to do this at all. And the only difference between those two, to me, um, would be, well, one is, they're two different kind of wood. One is poplar and one is alder. That doesn't matter at that point. What I would say is just remember that the bullet has a wider neck and the affinity has a narrower neck. So big hands, small hands. Really, that's it. Classic vibe, 50s, 60s, 70s, Tele Custom, Tele Deluxe, all of those guitars. We have all the stuff at our website to do that. If, Dylan Talks Tone, if you wanna ask me about that or what, if you already have one of these, like what, what could you do to make it sound better, stay in tune better, whatever. They all have bone nuts, which is really, really cool. I think that's a, a cost and a, a hassle you don't have to deal with, which is great. And then those last three guitars being the more modern ones, that modern humbucker humbucker guitar is absolutely a monster guitar. If you can find one used, buy it and call me and we will make that thing into a beast that you will absolutely love. Any of these guitars actually, super, super fun stuff. Hopefully that keeps it all straight for you. Um, there's so many of them, like 13 or lots of them. If you have any questions, let me know, put it in the comments, make sure you subscribe, make sure you go check out that other video where we're picking a guitar. Please don't pick the telly. Uh, we've built so many tellies and probably after this video, we're gonna build more tellies. So please don't pick the telly for that other thing. Pick something of the other three that's like way out of left field. That'd be super fun. And I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna mod it, and I'm gonna give it to you. We'll have to figure out how to do that exactly. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do it. Thanks for hanging out and we'll see you all soon.